Hello there, Libras. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, before we start off with this reading and I start looking at the cards, um, I'm just going to relay a quick image that I saw for you when I was shuffling the, uh, out the spread. So I'm seeing um, a, a boat, okay? It's like a fishing boat. And uh, it's a pretty big boat, and there's like a crew of about 10 men aboard this boat. And it's going out into, you know, deep waters. And uh, the, the storm starts raging in, the clouds start moving in, dark clouds form in the sky. And it starts to rain. So I'm seeing a series of like um, uh, waves moving along, moving the boat along. And then I'm also seeing like, you know, raindrops, lightning, and thunder, and um, the waves start to pick up, okay? So um, the, the boat is in the ocean, deep water in the ocean, and it's shaking a bit, okay? It, it's shaking back and forth due to the rippling effects of the waves. And then right behind it is this huge, giant waves that's about to crash down. However, it's not crashing down onto the boat, onto the deck to wash all the people off the deck and potentially put their lives in danger. It crashed down right before the boat. And so it crashes down and the water subsides and it pulls the boat on top of it, okay? So the image to me basically means it's a large body of water, which is, I feel, in the realm of emotion. So it's like, you're going to be emotionally tried and emotionally tested and potentially emotionally rattled for this month of March. However, I do feel that it's not anything that you cannot handle. And I also feel like this is a, a really good way for you to stretch those emotional muscles so that you don't let the environment, you don't let the things happening around you kind of like affect your center of gravity or even affect your well-being okay so that's the first uh, the image that I saw and when I was looking at the spread I just feel like um, the month of March is going to be a little bit turbulent in a sense that I do feel like a lot of people around you will bicker will argue will potentially, you know, drag you in with them because they're looking at you and they want you to kind of like be the 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 judge to to potentially take sides to potentially, you know, see both sides of the story and see who warrants um who who's right and who's wrong. So I feel like there's, you know, arguments and bickering potentially happening around you here with the five of um, wands. And this is like, you know, small scale petty arguments, uh, who's right and who's wrong. And it's um, argument and, and some type of like things stirring up between people. And I feel like, you know, you're over here with the temperance card, minding your own business, trying to, you know, take care of your things, trying not to get swept along with the tides or, or get emotionally riled up. And yet, with this conflict happening around you, potentially with family members, co-workers, subordinates even, um, I'm, I'm hearing the word petty. So I feel like these are like petty arguments that in the greater scheme of things don't really matter and don't really have, you know, any long-term ramifications. But for the month of March, I feel like people are, are bringing these things to your doorstep and they potentially want your, your sense of judgment. They want your, uh, your ability to see things in a very impartial manner and they want your unbiased assessment of the situation and they want you to you know potentially get involved in it and see who's right and who's wrong being the judge and kind of you know help them make sense of it but I do feel that the, the situation itself like I said in the greater scheme of things it doesn't really matter but in this situation, I feel like for these people, it matters a great deal. And so they might, you know, pull you in with them, okay? So needless to say that uh, what we can do in, in this situation is to let people kind of like, you know, uh, fight their own battles, to let people, t um, t to let people come to conclusions on their own and to, you know, remove yourself from conflict. If it doesn't really involve you or it doesn't really, um, 
add to your life in a positive way in any in any capacity, I do feel it might be best for you to try to skirt these issues, okay? On the other hand, um, I do feel a potential reconciliation here, okay? So I have here an, uh, a fire sign, potentially a Sagittarius person. The person is shown up here as the Nine of Wands. And fire energy with the wand suit. This is Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. And I'm seeing a very, very strong Sagittarius person. Um, either way, there might have been some type of a conflict, disagreement, misunderstanding, or like um, I'm hearing somebody saying like you're undermining, you know, the situation, or you are. Um, like neglecting the situation or you are potentially neglecting you know this person so i feel like somebody is operating from a space where they feel neglected where they feel like you didn't care where they feel like you didn't make yourself available uh, for whatever reason they just feel like you know there's a little bit of a sense of neglect and i'm sensing that this person is uh, a little bit defensive okay this is somebody who has been through a battle okay and he or she is uh, gearing up like they, they don't believe that it's over. They don't believe that it's done and over with. They don't believe that, you know, it's safe now. They can sleep at night. They don't have to, you know, sleep with one eye open and with a sword under their their pillow or whatever. Or, you know, they're, they're so used to, you know, battling it out. They're so used to living in this space of, you know, constant adrenaline rush. And they can't really find any type of peace in their own life. And I feel like there might have been some misunderstandings or some type of uh, conflict or, or whatever it is between the two of you. The energy is not completely smooth. And so I feel like there is communication coming in between you and this person. And I feel like for many of you, potentially this is coming like you're initiating the conversation. You're reaching out, you're trying to, you know, smooth things over. And I do feel that this person is a little bit more on the defensive end. And when we're dealing with someone who's a little bit more on the defensive end, it's really important to be clear with our intention. So for example, if you're reaching out to this person, you know, you, can, uh, you can't just drop them a line because they're going to read so much subtext into what you're, you're saying. They're going to read between the lines. They're going to mull it over. They're going to uh, pick out and pinpoint, like, imagine slights. They're going to twist your words out of context. So it's very, very important to state your intentions clearly. So I feel like for many of you, um, one of the, the ways in which you're communicating to this person, you might be like, hey, I haven't heard from you in a long time. Is everything okay? Or, hey, I haven't heard from you. Um, sorry about last time. How are you doing? So I feel like, you know, being very crystal clear with your intentions, being, um, and also, you know, being a little bit soft with your words, but also putting it out there that, hey, I'm concerned about you. I'm reaching out because I'm a little bit concerned. And I feel like this will allow the two of you to kind of, you know, communicate again, um, to kind of hash things out, to kind of like, um, I, I, I guess like bring things out in the open so that you can talk about things, so that you can clear up confusion, so that you can clear up misunderstandings, and so that you can kind of like repair this relationship, okay? I feel for many of you, um, I feel like this is a relationship that for whatever reason never got off the ground. Okay, and then I'm also feeling like you're dealing with someone who has been hurt many, 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 many times before. And so the way their energy shows up with this card, once again, is um, it's somebody that needs a grand gesture. Okay, they, they, it's, I'm hearing like talk is cheap or words are useless, I want to see some action. So they're very, very action oriented. And I feel that in order them for them to trust the intentions of another person, they don't want the words, they don't want the talk, they don't want, you know, promises, they want actions, they want visible, tangible results. And they do want you to come in with some type of a grand gesture if you want to make amends, if you want to clear the air, if you want to make an offer. So I do feel here that there's a this this sense of like, you know, 
um, having an opportunity here, like a, a do-over, in order to repair a situation with another person. I do feel at one point, we have here the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords. And um, at one point, there has been a very, very strong emotional connection between the two of you. The Page of Cups is about friendship. It's about, you know, like, um, really liking another person, okay? Liking them for who they are. It indicates to me innocence. It indicates to me, like, a, a situation where, you know, between children, uh, they forgive and forget. Okay, I'm looking at the kids here in this, um, riding this one. It's like... People forgive and forget, okay? They don't hold grudges. They don't hold on to, um, they, they don't hold on to, you know, they don't hold grapes. They don't hold on to bad feelings and negative feelings for a very long time. They forgive and, and forget. And in the greater scheme of things, they understand that, you know, um, it's all about friendship and, and like camaraderie. So what I feel here is for some of you, uh, this person might have been like a really dear friend of yours at one point or like a very close confidant and um, you guys share a lot of, you know, stories, a lot of secrets, a lot of, um, it's somebody that you can really, if you've had a bad day, you can vent with them, you can vent to them and you trust that whatever you tell them, they're not going to relay this information and tell another person. And so... I feel that the relationship at one point was very mutual. You're able to confide in them, they're able to confide in you. And so to me, it seems like there is a very strong emotional connection. There's a great sense of trust between two people. And for whatever reason, this situation uh, went south. So I feel like it might have been misunderstanding. It might have been lack of communication. It might have just been like... Um, um, you guys might be at a distance from one another and so you're hearing things through the grapevines and I feel like it, it created like a, it just created a situation where it was ripe for misunderstandings, okay? And so the month of March is a really good time to clear up these, these misunderstandings, to clear up these uh, channels of communication so that we communicate and say exactly what we mean when we're trying to, you know, uh, reach out and, and achieve like some type of um, mutual understanding or a connection with another person. So I feel like you have an opportunity here, a do-over, a second chance, and an opportunity to make things right and to uh, clear the air and to, you know, uh, repair some type of a relationship between you and another person. I just want you to know that, that I feel like they are a little bit um, defensive. And then I also feel like the situation, whatever it was, um, affected them a lot more than it affected you, okay? They see you as this, the Six of Swords. They potentially might have uh, had a inkling that you've moved on they might have felt like oh you would never come back they might have felt like you would never uh, initiate contact with them but I do sense that when the uh, communication comes in it's going to be very unexpected they're caught off guard it's very unexpected from their end they're looking for battle they're looking for a fight or they're uh, anticipating some type of conflict but what's coming through is a very heartfelt message communication that comes from the heart, an offer of love, an offer of friendship here with the Page of Cups. And so it's coming in in a very unexpected way, okay? So in the past, there might have been a lot of uh, ups and downs between the two of you. And I feel like it's all geared towards like miscommunication, okay? And the two of you could, and what I'm seeing is, um, you know, Libras, you're, you know, seen as the sign that's very, very diplomatic, okay? The things that you say, uh, the way in which you say things as well. I, I, I feel that, you know, you aim on the side of, like, being very, being very either politically correct, being very, um, taking into account both sides of the story. So you, you err for the middle ground, okay? You're not very extreme when it comes to expressing your opinions, but I feel like this person is very opinionated and when they feel something, when they're upset, they're gonna voice their, their anger. 
if they're uh, they believe in a specific you know ideology, a specific course of action, they're going to be very passionate about you know um, sh shouting out from the rooftop whatever it is they feel. And so I'm sensing that in the past, um, whenever this person feels any type of a way, and they feel for you, I, I do sense that this situation affected them a lot more than it affected you. They feel for you, and I feel like the way that in which they express their feelings, um, it might have been full of anger. They they might have felt like you know you you didn't care for me, you didn't. Uh, you didn't worry about me. You didn't even check on how I was doing. You abandoned me. But those are the words that I'm hearing, and so it's very like the 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 anger is really on the surface with this person. But I feel like they're speaking from a place of hurt. They don't really mean it, but they're gonna voice it. And so every time they go into this, you know, rage mode. I feel that you might have retreated. You didn't know what to do. I feel like it also stirs up uncomfortable feelings for you and within you. And as a result of it, um, it was just easier to step away from this person, wait for them to cool down before you come back. And then in the process of you know stepping away, waiting for them to cool down, I feel like they then felt a little bit abandoned, and so they retreat deeper or uh, further and further and further away and then before you know it there's this um, emotional rift between you and this person and I feel that the month of March is a good time to repair the rift it's a good time to you know um, make amends okay and we're sailing away here from troubled waters okay this is like moving away from a very very turbulent turbulent a state of being, choppy waters, um, high rising waves. Okay, a really, str I'm I'm getting that image again. Um, the the men are out to sea. They've got things to do. They've got things to catch. You know, that's their haul for the entire day. And yet, they're all, not only fighting with the sea creatures, the things that they're catching. They're fighting the elements. They're fighting these waves. And the waves can feel very overwhelming because you know they're like rising tall above the sail and the mast and above the ship. But it's it's a situation where it's not real. Like it's not going to hurt you. The waves didn't crash down on the deck. It crashed before and it brings the ship back up. Okay, so I, I feel like it's a situation where it's not comfortable to be in. It's stretching your emotional muscles in a way that is important for an air sign, okay? And so I feel like this is a situation that re uh, requires the both of you to kind of like let down your walls and to kind of approach each other in the spirit of, you know, friendship, camaraderie, and really thinking about one another in a way where it's like, let's make amends, let's uh, solve this situation, let's mend that emotional rift, and let's try to understand one another, okay? So I feel like there is an emotional situation here. It might have been very, very turbulent in the past. All the pa previous interaction with this person might have been turbulent, and yet you have an opportunity here to fix the situation, and I just want you to know that it's, it's worth fixing because I do feel like the other person you might not fully understand what the other person went through. You might not fully comprehend how the other person feels about you. And so by letting your guard down and approaching them and having this conversation, I feel that it would open up a floodgate between you and the other person so that you come to a state of mutual understanding. But more so, it's allowing you to to really understand how this person feels about you because I feel like they felt abandoned, they felt unloved, they felt uncared for, and they felt like you took the relationship very lightly. You're okay to move on, but they're not. Okay, so I feel like uh, what you didn't realize at the time was they felt a great deal more about you than you might have felt about them. And this is something you might not have realized. And that's why they harbor a little bit more resentment and they have that anger within them as if they they felt like you might have abandoned them, okay? 
this is not to say that you did anything wrong, uh, Libras. It, it takes two to, you know, um, create a situation, right? It, it takes two to tangle. And there's always, like, different perspective. But I feel like you understand things from your side because you're living that experience, right? But I also feel like as a Libra, we like to see both sides of the story. And so this is allowing you to kind of step over into their side of the story, in their point of view, wearing their shoes, to be able to understand how the situation emotionally really affected them, okay? Um, as a result of this reconciliation and clearing the air, what I have here is I have the full, which is a brand new um, beginnings, okay? And the beginnings here, it's wedged between two fives. So we have five of wands on one side in the past, conflict. And then we have the five of cups. And the five of cups is about regrets, okay? Um, I feel like whatever newfound knowledge that you can extract from this conversation, from this person, from this past situation, it's allowing you to see how your actions, I feel, affect other people. And what I feel about this is you might have, um, you know, done things in a very lighthearted manner and you feel like, oh, it doesn't really, uh, you know, hurt anyone. It doesn't really affect anyone. But in the process of understanding how it really deeply affected somebody that you care about, I feel like you're going to tread carefully. You're going to do things with a lot more purpose, with a lot more meaning. And you're also going to start to wonder as well, you know, what kind of things or behaviors can I leave behind? The Five of Cups, uh, crime over spilled milk. But at the same time, this is like an emotional response that we have to something. Letting go of pre-programmed emotional responses that might not be healthy. For example, shying away from conflict, not uh, sticking around to have these difficult conversations. And then um, not being able to be very clear or very precise when it comes to um, the course of action that we decide to take, okay? So I feel like this person is boldly, um, I, I feel like they're, they're boldly, in, in the way that they are, in the way that they interact with you, and in the way that their personality is, um, is formed they are very different from you and as a result of it they're teaching you a lot about emotional expression expression um acting angry when you're angry you know being upset it's like they're they're teaching you that emotions are okay if you're upset show that you're upset scream yell do whatever it is let these emotions out and then i feel like from your perspective they're learning a lot about you about emotional control about emotional moderation but at the same time, I feel like one of the major lessons that you can extract from this is knowing what type of emotional responses that you can leave behind that is no longer serving you, that's no longer healthy for you. And a lot of it is the conflict avoidance, okay? A lot of it is like when uh, things get a little bit too heated, when things get a little bit too hot, um, you want to retreat, you want to withdraw. And I feel like over time, you might start to realize that when you withdraw like that, it, it might hurt the other person. It might make them feel rejected. It might make them feel confused and they're not really sure why you are withdrawing, if it's something that's personal to them, that's why you're withdrawing, or if it's just a pre-programmed response that, that it's like a defense mechanism of yours. But explaining to this person these things and being able to understand these things within yourself I feel that it is a very important lesson when it comes to, you know, emotional maturation, okay? And so th that's what I'm feeling here. The last three cards echo the same theme, okay? So first of all, there's a lot more further, uh, a lot more communication coming through. We have here the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is like um, quick, fast, swift messages, um, information messages, uh, clarity, and just having the, the sheer access to information and just the, the sheer amount of information that's coming through. I feel like there's a lot of communication back and forth between you and a person. And I do sense for many of you, um, this is like residing, resounding, I'm hearing resounding, 
coming through from work, coming through from coworkers, coming through from you know some type of a work institution, an educational institution, higher uh, institution of learning as well. So I feel like there's a lot of emails, a lot of electronic communication, potentially a lot of phone calls, missed phone calls, plain phone tags and text messages and things like that that needs to be answered in a timely manner. So I'm feeling a lot of communication coming through in the modern channels. So um, that needs to be responded to. They are quite sensitive. And so make sure that, you know, whatever was sent, make sure it's read. And then whatever is read is responded to, okay? So I feel like you are going to be very in very high demand this month. And I also feel like um, there might be, you know, it, especially if you're in a position where you're managing projects, handling people, managing people even, or doing both, um, you're going to be in very high demand to kind of like put out fires, to... Uh, resolve things to solve problems to kind of like put things back in their place or even put people back in their place so that means a lot of you know boundary drawing and especially putting people like um, telling people where they belong okay putting people in their place is what I'm hearing and um, I do feel for many of you um, there is a relationship here and um, I have the Hierophant and the Four of Swords, okay? The Hierophant is a, um, a relationship where there is a commitment and status involved, okay? So this is like a relationship that is basically pretty serious. It's like, you know, you're calling somebody your significant other, calling them the, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, and uh, there's an element of family involved here where you know their family, they know your family members, etc., okay? And so I feel as if there is a relationship here and it might have gone a little bit stale. It might have been on the back burner. You might not have time to tend to it. And so I feel like there's an opportunity here as well to reassess the direction of this relationship. If you still want to stay in it, if you're still in love with the person, if you're still feeling, you know, that sense of newness and vitality whenever you see this person, I feel like you're re-examining some things or I feel that you are at least looking over some things, reassessing and trying to figure out as well um, whether or not it is something that you want to stay in long term. And I feel like you are assessing whether or not to stay in this relationship or whether it's still emotionally fulfilling for you. I feel that there's a little bit of an emotional rift between you and a partner, especially if you are dealing with a water sign, okay? So a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, especially if you're dealing with a, a water sign. Um, I'm sensing that they really reached out and solicited you in the past, but you might have been busy, you might have not trusted their intention, or you might for for whatever the reason is, uh, there was something going on that was like on the front burner for you. And so you might not have, um, you know, uh, returned this person's advances. So I feel like, you know, they were reaching out. They wanted to be near you. They wanted to be close. They want to kind of like strengthen that emotional connection, or at least they wanted to connect with you emotionally. But I feel like for whatever you were dealing with before, the connection was not strong or the connection wasn't really reciprocated from your end. There's an opportunity here. If you feel this is something that you still want, there's an opportunity here to kind of fix the situation. So we have a lot of do-overs here. And then if this is not a connection that you no longer feel emotionally invested in, and I feel like for many of you, it could be a marriage even. Um, and I feel that with the Four of Swords, it's like a stoppage in communication, stoppage and, and lack of movement when it comes to, you know, seeing eye to eye, being able to um, communicate with each other in a way where information gets, um, gets, things get communicated, okay? So I feel like it might have just been like communication that is not meaningful, that's being, um, share between the two of you or there has been a lack of communication if there has been a lack of communication i feel you between you and a specific person that is quite prominent in your life 
you might have felt like they walked away. You might have felt that, you know, it's over and done with. And you might have felt that there's no opportunity for it to come back together or to resolve the differences or even to clear up the air and, and you know, um, clear up the misunderstandings. I, I do feel like there's an opportunity here for two people to really come together and try to fix the situation, okay? So... That is all that I have for you here. Um, and I'm not seeing anything to indicate to me like financial woes or anything like that. And so in the, the, the world of tarot, no news is always good news. Okay. So I feel that once again, this um, reading is heavily relationship focused as it has been for your sign for the past few months. And so I feel that there's opportunities here for do-overs, for reconciliation, for making things right and making amends and to, you know, clear up the air with another person. And I feel that um, you're, you're treading into an emotional realm that you are not 100% comfortable in and I feel this unease with you, you know, coming into the month of March. But I do feel, you know, in uh, the time of Pisces, when the sun is in Pisces, Pisces is, it, it's like the um, boundless ocean, okay? It involves a lot of healing, it involves a lot of letting go, and the boundless ocean, the bottomless ocean, or the ocean with um, the body of water without limits, what it means to me in general is that um, we can forgive and forget. We can learn to, you know, um, we can learn to let a lot of things go. And we can release resentment and, and release all of the, the emotional baggage that we've had in the past because, you know, the ocean washes away everything and makes things clean. And so what I feel for this month is you're exploring, exploring and charting the emotional waters that you might not have been willing or able to in the past. But I feel that the month of March, it brings about a lot of healing energy as we release and let go and even make amends and reconcile and, you know, learn to forgive another person or even letting the other person, you know, make amends and to forgive past transgressions, okay? So I feel like it's a really therapeutic month for many of you. Just be very clear with communication so that, you know, uh, we don't have cross wires so that we don't dig ourselves deeper and deeper into a uh, in, into further miscommunication and misunderstandings. All right. Um, I do hope the reading finds you well, and I hope that it has uh, been helpful in you know unraveling some of the things that you might be questioning or might be going through for this month. I wish you all the best. Okay, uh, Libras and. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. For those who are interested in a personal reading, I do have a link in the description box below. It is for a psychic out of California. She's very uh, amazing. She's a great reader. So I highly recommend if you are in need of guidance, if you're looking to book a reading for you or anybody you know, uh, please click on her link and book an appointment directly through her website. And um, if you like the cover, the, the icon that I use for these videos, um, it is also by an artist, a different person, uh, an artist based out of California. I've also included her link in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing or even commissioning uh, art pieces. Um, please click, click on her link and see the, um, the stuff she has available in okay, her style as well. I will talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Um, okay, Libras. And um, I wish you the very best for the month of March.